me ask you, if Donald Trump heads into the nomination, maybe he's short of the 1237 required, if you give it to someone who has a much lesser percentage of the voters who have actually turned out from these primaries, don't you worry that you are going to just send chaos and anger into the Trump supporters, into the people who feel like their votes don't matter? No, I don't think that's the case once it's, it, you know, if it would just be understood. We have a problem with the media. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cable networks are trying I, to determine I don't think, our nomination. I don't think this is a problem with the media. I've heard from a lot of voters <laughs> who say if they feel like their votes got stolen, that they would be very unhappy and very angry. I, I think you're looking at a different situation. I realize these have been the rules, but the last time these rules were put in place was 1976. It's been a long time since then. Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, that's a problem. The, the, uh, the media has created the perception that the voters will decide the nomination, and that's the, con that's the conflict here. <laughs> we we the feel like we is, live in a democratic society. What you're telling me is it's not a democratic society, and your votes don't right. necessarily matter because it's a democratic representation, correct? No, that's not what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to say is that there's a, we're just one of the political parties. There's many political parties, but political parties choose their nominee, not the general public, uh, contrary to popular belief. Then why bother Again, holding the primaries? That's a very good question. Look, look oh. Gary, I, 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 I don't know why you're a Republican.